Hey guys, so today I am back with another video and I'm going to be filming my 2016 beauty favourites. This is quite long waited, I know it's um, almost the end of January pretty much, but I needed to film this so I've only just got a chance to do it. And yeah, I've got firstly this big box here, this is full of products that would actually fit in here. And then I've got palettes and then skincare, so I'll do those last so I can quickly nip through all of this first. I'm not going to talk for too long because I already know that this is going to be a really Really long video so yeah let's just get straight into it so I'm literally just gonna pick my way through because there's no way I'm going to be able to sort all of this out um, so first thing I can see is the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated so I've got I can see a few highlights on the top so I guess I'll do highlighters first um, this is the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated this is in the shade Aura um, it looks like this and it comes with a little brush. I know a lot of people don't actually like this because a lot of people don't like glittery highlighters, but I really like glittery highlighters, especially for um, if I'm going out. I won't wear it on like a daily basis, but for going out, this is a really stunning pinky highlighter. So next up, um, I have another highlighter, although this whole palette as a whole, I really like. Um, this is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit, and this is an Ultra Fair 01. The highlight shade is what I'm wearing today. As you can see, it's so pigmented. Um, that is the highlighter there, it is very pigmented. And then this is the blush, which I also like to use. And then the contour, which is a really nice, it looks warm toned in the pan, but it's actually, well actually on camera it looks quite cool toned, but in person it is actually warm toned. Um, yeah, it's just, a, they were just really stunning products and they last a long time and for Makeup Revolution and for the price I paid, I think I paid three pounds for this. As you can see it is absolutely gorgeous. So finally for highlighter, you probably know what this is because I use it every single time I do a makeup tutorial on YouTube. Um, this is the Sleek, sorry it's really reflective, but this is the Sleek um, Solstice Highlighting Palette and this is what it looks like. This is a cream one and these three are highlight shades. They are so intense. I can't even explain to you how intense they are. I'm not going to swatch them because I've used them so many times and honestly, I don't have anything to wipe all the swatches off my hand with and it will just get a mess. But um, yeah, I'm not going to talk about these loads because I've raved about them so much. And yeah, this is definitely a favourite. This is also from the drugstore. So this was, I think, £8 around that price point. While we're on like, a similar category, I'll talk about this here. You also know I love this. This is the Rimmel London um 002 coral glow sculpting highlight and blush kit so you have the highlight here the highlight is okay i used to really like it but it's kind of i've found better ones um the bronzy shade is really really beautiful it's kind of got a nice shimmer to it which i really like and then the blush shade is also really pretty as well so i really like this one moving on to foundation i will first talk about my favorite drugstore foundation which is the l'oreal paris true match foundation and i have mine in the shade um golden ivory and this is what it looks like here it's slightly too yellow for my skin tone i need more of a pinky one um but the formula of this is really, really beautiful. It's not too full coverage, which I like sometimes, but around here, um, I get, I've got like quite a dark patch around here, so I like that to be covered up, and this doesn't really cover that up. It kind of accentuates it a bit more. But apart from that, this foundation is really great. And then my favourite high-end foundation is the Too Faced Born This Way. This is actually the only high-end foundation I've used, I will admit. Oh, and the Benefit one, but I'm not really into that one anymore. So yeah, I guess this one is my favourite of 2016. I have mine in the shade Porcelain because I'm very pale. This is the second to lightest shade. Although it is, again, a bit too yellow tone for me. I think I do need more pinky tone foundations. But yeah, again, this one lasts a really long time and it's really beautifully um, it beautifully sits on the skin. Um, next I will talk about eye products. So my first, I'll do mascaras first and the mascara first I would like to talk about are the Unique 3D Fibre Lash. Um, comes in this cute little case and first you have the mascara which has the fibres on it. So here you go, they're little fibres. 
and then you have the kind of mascara gel you put the gel on first and then the mascara I use this in quite a lot of my tutorials um, as a replacement for false lashes I'm not very good at applying false lashes so these are a really great alternative the next mascara I'd like to talk about is the Topshop False Lash Effect Mascara. Again, I use this every single time I post a tutorial on YouTube. I use this every day. It's just really, it's just a really good mascara and it really um, stops my mascara, my eyelashes from clumping together, which I like. So yeah, that's that one. And then we have um, the Rimmel Lash Accelerator mascara which again is one of my favorites um it has a really thin bristly wand so it doesn't make your lashes clump together and it makes them really long and then finally the mascara i have to talk about is the owned k perversion mascara i only have a sample size of this but when i run out i'm definitely buying the full size because it really really volumized my lashes like look at that brush it honestly looks like it would volumize your lash lashes and it does it works next on to um single eyeshadows i'm first going to talk about the ColourPop super sock su super sock shadow super oh my god super shock shadow and i have mine in the shade weenie i also have tang but i prefer weenie better because it's foiled i don't I'm trying to open it it's not foiled it's pearlized and it's honestly stunning i will swatch this just because you need to see how amazing this is so oh my that's on my finger so that is it right there and as you can see it is the most stunning eyeshadow. The next product I have to talk about is the MAC, I don't have a clue what these are called, pigment, matte pigments. Um, this is in the shade Melon. Um, it's a really stunning colour, it lasts ages on your eyelids and I wear this quite a lot so I thought I'd include this. Next I have to talk about these amazing products. These are the Collection Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Liner. I think these are about £2 each. I have four colours. I really want more because they are amazing. Um, I have this turquoise one, this black one, the silver one and this gunmetal kind of silvery, bluey, purpley, pinky one. Um, I wore this one on New Year's and I wore this one to a birthday party the other night these are honestly amazing they last all night it's so easy because you don't have to use glitter glue and then stick glitter on top you just have to use these so i really do recommend these if you really want to go for an easy glitter look the next eye product i need to talk about are eyeliners and first i have the ColourPop gel liners i have one in mr bing and one in swerve mr bing is a lovely brown from the collaboration that um, Kathleen Lights did and Swerve is just a jet black they're so easy to use and they don't dry out they're really creamy and yeah these are really cheap also so I thought I'd recommend them and then of course I have my Miss Sporty liquid eyeliner the waterproof one this is a holy grail for me and it's so cheap and I love the wand because it's long and thin so it's really easy to get um, a sharp wing which I really appreciate. Finally for eye products I have to talk about the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and I don't usually tend to use eye primers I usually use concealer but when I want to go for um, a look that I need to last literally all night and then all morning um, I usually go for this because it keeps my eyeshadow on longer it does what it says really eyeshadow primer potion so I thought I'd add on that more. Thought I'd add that one in there. For my eyebrows, I have two products. One of them, of course, is the Rimmel Brow This Way kit. I use this all the time. I have mine in the shade 003 Dark Brown. And then next, I have the Soap and Glory Brow Archery Two in One Brow. Um, I used to use the actual brow side. But I'm not really into that anymore. Um, but the actual gel is fantastic. It's what I've been using all year round and 
it just keeps my eyebrows intact and in place so yeah i really recommend this so i will talk about concealers the first concealer is a drugstore concealer and these are the lasting perfection concealers by collection i have mine first in the shade fair which i use under my eyes on my chin on my nose you know the hot on the high points of my face and then I have um, Cool Medium 2 which I use to cover up blemishes and these are really really good long lasting and they're very cheap as well which is always a benefit um, and then I have my Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay I have mine in the shade Fair Neutral I think I need the next shade up because it is quite light under my eyes but it's really creamy lasts all night easy to blend doesn't crease so yeah i really do recommend this and let's talk about a bronzer that i've been loving lately i only just got this in december but i've been using it every time i go out and it honestly makes me look like a glowing goddess like a bronzed glowing goddess and this is the mariah carey collection with mac this is in the shade my mimi um and it just looks like this it's beautiful and it's just a bronzed bronzer with gold flecks in it and really gorgeous so i really do love that if you can get your hands on that i definitely would recommend it i don't know if it's sold out but if it's not then definitely get it and then a highlight i have to talk about is the benefit high beam i really do like this um underneath powder highlighters it makes it more bright it makes it the powder highlight lasts longer so yeah i have the full size version of this at my dad's but my mum's only have the mini version and i really do recommend this as well on to lip products there's a lot because your girl likes lip products so we'll first start off with eye um eyeliners lip liners i first have to talk about the boldly bare um lip liner by mac this one is a classic a great i love that one and the nyx um a lip crayon this one is in the shade nude this one's in the shade nude um it's a mechanical one which i really like and also it's very creamy i'm wearing it today it's just really creamy and nice and i really do recommend these i also really like my kylie jenner one although i've had i've lost that for about four months now i don't know where it is so i really need to find that because that is one of my favorite lip liners um, on to lipsticks, I only have a couple lipsticks as well, so I'll talk about these quickly. Um, the Rosie for Autograph um, lipsticks I love. This is in the shade uh, Rose Lace. Um, I also have the shade, um, what's it called? I can't remember what the other shade is, but I really like that one too. And then I have MAC Mare, and I also love MAC um, Velvet Teddy and MAC Faux. That's also my favourite. I don't know where that is either though. Um, and then onto these Tubi lip products. I first have Aquarius by Colourpop. This is the lippy stick. I really do love this. It's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Um, Kylie Cosmetics liquid lip. I absolutely adore. You all know. Um, lip gloss is Sexy Mother Pucker by um, Soap and Glory. This is really great. And... Um, Colourpop's Hot Mama I really love, I've been wearing this a lot recently and also NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream London. They are all ones that I've been absolutely loving in 2016 and will probably continue to love in 2017. Now I'm on to palettes, I've literally got to be so quick because my driving instructor is texting me saying he's outside so I'm literally like really rushing. <laughs> but first I have the Makeup Revolution Iconic Lights and Contour Palette. I really love this shade here and this shade here. As you can see I've used a lot. Um, I'm sorry there's like no explanation but I've really got to be quick. Then I have my new Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I've been using this a lot recently. It is quite hard to blend but it really does a nice job so I really like that. Then I have, this isn't really a palette, well it is a palette but I haven't filled it yet, um, this contour shade from Makeup Obsession, this is in zero, uh, C102 light, this is the perfect cool toned contour shade. Then I have my new dude palette, I got this for my birthday this year in March and I've been using this ever since, it's gorgeous, I especially love um, Fit, Faithful, Flirty and Fit. 
And then we have my Alice in Wonderland palette, which I have been using all the time. I especially love Royal Flush, um, Reflection, Lily, Duchess, Slaz and Grum and Kingdom. They are stunning shades. Then I have my Morphe palette, which I absolutely love, and this is the 35W. Um, I also love my 35F palette, but that's at my dad's, so I'm not able to show it. If I cannot insert a picture, but this is an absolutely gorgeous palette. So, makeup setting spray. I've been loving this for a setting spray. This is my MAC Prep and Prime. This is absolutely amazing. On to skincare, I have a few bits first. Moisturiser wise, I have the Simple Kind of Skin Hydrating Moisturiser, which I love and I use all the time, you all know. Then for my primer, I have the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm, which I've been using a lot this year, thank you to Nikki Tutorials. Um, I also have one which is quite random, but it's Sudocreme. I put this on my spots before I go to bed and then they either harden up or disappear the next morning, so I'm really grateful for Sudocreme. My granddad calls it magic cream and it really is. Um, then I have my Garnier Micellar Water, which I use to take off my makeup. I'll go in with a makeup wipe and then I'll go in with Micellar Water afterwards, just to make sure that everything actually is gone. Then I have the Tea Tree Skin Clearing Facial, fa facial Wash, which I use to wash my face, and this is keeping my skin clear and it has been for about a year so I really like that and then finally I have a perfume and this is my Ariana Grande perfume this is one that I've been using all year and yeah this is my scent this year so I really like that so that was my really rushed really long probably 2016 beauty and skincare favorites I really hope you enjoyed if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you like me and my personality then maybe you could subscribe I'd really appreciate that um yeah so thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time